Hello everyone, I'm Sharp Peter 43 once again, bringing you all another Wi-Fi battle. This is going to be a UU battle, and my opponent for this battle is going to be someone from Discord. His name is Lugia, and um, I'm, yeah, as you can see, I'm going to be using this team again that I used um, in the past couple of battles that I had in UU. Uh, reason being is just because I'm actually having relatively an amount of fun with this team. I actually like using Mega Pidgeot, surprisingly. Like, I never was into Mega Pidgeot, but it's been, it's been impressing me recently. So, yeah, I kind of wanted to give this team another go because of it. And, uh, yeah. Not to mention, I kind of wanted to battle someone else as well, too. So, yeah. Uh, so this guy, like I said, I found him on Discord. And he seemed like an interesting person, so I decided, yeah, let's just battle him. This battle was a pretty interesting one, to say the least, as well. So, I figured, yeah, why not? So, here he is. Neural. That's his name in-game. In so, yeah. And I'm going to lead off with Gliscor here, as you can see. And um, he's going to lead off with the metagross i believe yeah the metagross which is a positive matchup for my gliscor so because of this i was definitely anticipating him to want to switch out so i decided to get my rocks up right here and i was thinking he's not going to switch out so that's that made me wonder does this thing have ice punch and as you can see it does have ice punch so now with this i'm like okay what i'm gonna do now then is just go straight for the earthquake and this may, this explains why he pretty much stayed in in the first place is because he had a shuka berry to take an earthquake and then ice punch me which is actually really really crazy so yeah i don't get a lot of damage on this thing but at least i get rid of the shuka berry not that it matters because i don't think anything else on my team has earthquakes so yeah rip that so yeah he does not go for bullet punch thankfully he actually just tries to pursue me thinking i'd switch out but i don't so yeah now i'm gonna go into muck now that he takes out my gliscor he's gonna get his rocks up now which is going to be a little annoying for my Mega Pidgeot. But nonetheless, I'm just going to go for the knockoff here. I was hoping he didn't carry Earthquake on this Metagross. Because if it did, it might have been able to take out my, my Muck. Thankfully, he didn't. So I get a nice amount of damage with knockoff. He's now going to go for Meteor Mash instead of switching out himself. I thought he would switch out. Just in, on the off chance, I try to go for Shadow Snake or something. But he doesn't. So here I um, went for Pursuit thinking he might have switched out. But he did not. So um, I do take out his... Metagross nonetheless, but not without taking a Meteor Mash, which is a little annoying. And now he's going to send in Gliscor, which, since he got his rocks up, I definitely did not think he was wanna, he was going to want to go for, I don't know, rocks again. So I switch into Mega Pidgeot, anticipating either an Earthquake or a U-Turn. He does end up going for Earthquake. Thankfully, he did not have, like, Stone Edge or something, because if he did, that would have been a little bit inconvenient for me. So, yeah, here I'm just going to instantly Mega Evolve. I want to see what, what else this thing can do. So I just go for a Hurricane. I think after this hurricane, I think what he does is actually go for, I don't remember, I think a U-turn or something. Definitely it's not Stealth Rocks. Oh no, he goes for the Defog, there we go. I was wondering, why, why does he stay in? See, even I didn't even know why he's staying. But yeah, he went for the Defog to get rid of both Rocks, which is nice, because now my Pidgey doesn't have to worry about any Rocks, unless this Gliscor also carries Rocks, which I honestly doubt it, honestly. So yeah, he's going to switch out Gliscor now, because he doesn't want to lose it. Um. To another hurricane because he's very convinced that the, another hurricane is going to take out the gliscor so he's going to go into suicune which i definitely can see this thing taking more than two um freaking hurricanes especially after the leftovers so what i'm going to do here is just continue spamming um hurricanes just to see what this thing wants to do if it goes for calm mine i'll at least chip it down so that something else can take it out later but he just goes for protect so and gets more leftovers recovery which definitely reduces my chances of taking this thing out with another two hurricanes so I'm going to go for Hurricane once more, just to see what else he has other than Protect. Maybe he has Toxic, maybe he has Ice Beam. He actually has Calm Mind, which is a little scary because if he gets a lot of those up and manages to carry like Rest or something, that's pretty much the whole game. So, um, here, because I had him Withered down, I was kind of hoping he'd um, go for Protect again. So, what I do here with Mega Pidgeot is go for the Work Up. Yeah, because crazily enough, this Mega Pidgeot actually has Work Up as a move yeah i went for this because if he tries to go for protect to be able to take the hurricane better i figure might as well just set up if while it does that and i can get a plus one in special attack and now my hurricanes should be able to hit things a lot more harder interestingly enough he doesn't even do protect he actually what he does is send out gliscor now my guess is that what he wanted to do here was um send it in take a hurricane and then proceed to get his rocks back up so I'm glad I went for the work up right there because then that pretty much prevented him from getting his rocks back up after getting rid of my stealth rocker. So, yeah. But that was only assuming it carried rocks because remember that the Metagross had rocks. But I don't know if his Gliscor did. 
it may not have, but it might have at the same time. So, yeah. He sends in now the Altaria. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go for the damage here. If he kills me with return, then oh well. He ends up staying in and just going for the um, Dragon Dance instead. So, obviously now I don't want to just stay in with Mega Pidgeot, so I'm just gonna um, send in Scizor. Hoping he does not carry in the Fire Blast, because if he carries Fire Blast, then yeah, I think I'm in trouble. Because at plus one, this Altaria can kind of destroy the rest of my team. So, he is going to switch out fearing the Bullet Punch. And I definitely was hoping for him to make this um, play in, uh, into Moltres. Because Moltres kind of walls the entirety of, of um, Scizor's Muset. So I decided to predict here and go into Tentacruel. And here, I wanted to see what moves it carries. He ends up carrying Hurricane, which let me tell you, I did not even know Moltres can carry. But then again, I never see Moltres very often, so it's only natural that I didn't know. So I was able to take this okay, so I was thinking, I can definitely take another one. And this Skull did over half, so I figured, why not go for another one? And then this is when I realized, oh, this thing has Flying EMZ Hurricane, which is, oh boy, ripped me. So yeah, he's going to get the Supersonic Sky Strike on my um, tentacruel and it's definitely gonna take it out because yeah if it did that much initially with just hurricane supersonic sky strike just allows it to finish me off which is crazy this is like one of the times when I actually literally do not expect the Z move honestly because I like I said I almost never see Moltres so I kinda was thinking you know what what's the worst this thing can do but now I see it so now I'm gonna send out Mega Pidgeot because now I know at least that this Moltres is not choice scarfed so my Mega Pidgeot should be able to outspeed it and continue to do its thing with Hurricaning, basically. So he's going to seemingly sack the Suicune now here, which is really, really good because now I don't have to worry about this thing setting up and then going for rest or anything. So that's really, really good. So I do take out the Suicune, which is really, really nice. And now he's going to send out the Beatdown, which is this Curum, which is interesting. So um, here, I definitely don't want to stay in on, on the off chance this thing is Choice Scarf. So I send in Sylveon and hope he doesn't carry Iron Head. So, um, here what he ends up doing instead is going for the Substitute, which is kind of fine with me, because if he has Iron Head, it's not Stab. So I shouldn't KO Sylvia, and as long as I don't flinch, I should still be able to retaliate with a Hyper Voice, even through Substitute. Him knowing this though, he's definitely not going to stay in with Kieran Black, and he's just going to go back in the Moltres. There was a part of me that really wanted to switch out, but I kind of was hoping, you know, I was afraid he'd go for Iron Head on me, and 2 hit KO me instead, so I definitely went for Hyper Voice there. But now here, because this thing survives, I wanted to see if this thing carries on um, Roost. This was a risky play, the switch into Muck, because what if he did not have Roost, he'd probably just have gone for the Fire Blast or something. So here, thankfully, he does go for Roost. Now what I want to do here is hope that I can take a um, any attack from this thing. He ends up going for Hurricane, does not miss, unfortunately. And it's not going to KO, thankfully, and surprisingly, it actually takes it a lot better than I thought. I honestly thought I, if I lived, I'd probably live like at 4 HP or 1 HP. But it actually takes it a lot better than that, which is actually kind of crazy. So here, thankfully, because I survive, I get the poison jab off. And the best part is I even get the poison because this allows me to um, wither this um, Moltres down for my Mega Pidgeot later. So, yeah. So here, him not wanting to risk the, another Hurricane to miss or a Hurricane to miss because he's never missed one, by the way. He's just going to go for the Flamethrower instead to take out my Muck. It does take me out. And now this allows me to get my free switching back into Mega Pidgeot. And continue doing its thing of just hurricaning the entirety of this man's team. So I do take out this Moltres, which was probably the last threat, kind of, to my team. So this made me feel more confident that I can maybe win this. Now here comes this Me uh, Mega Altaria. And I was thinking, given the amount of damage it did to it earlier, which was over half, I was thinking that it would probably be able to take it out with another one, right? Well, no. As you can see, it survived it. Which made me wonder if the the first hurricane was actually a damage roll and this was probably the most lowest of damage rolls ever or something but yeah it survives and gets another dragon dance off which is really really annoying and here what i decided to do now was just um switch in scissor on the off chance he tries to go for roost because let me tell you if he was able to survive that it's definitely going to survive a hurricane from the green hp so i definitely wanted to switch in scissor predicting a possible roost and it did carry it thankfully i was glad um able to predict that because if not I, will, I probably would have been screwed in all honesty so yeah here goes for facade this pretty much confirms that he didn't even have anything for my scissor so this allows me to just go for a bullet punch even the bullet punch was not enough to ko it from where it was at which is actually kind of crazy but again this scissor is actually a bulky one so it's only natural that it doesn't do as much as it should probably had it been an offensive one so here he's gonna go back in the beatdown and let me be honest with you here I think I have the match one 
But here, what I was hoping for was that he wouldn't go for Substitute again. Because what I'm about to do here is actually reveal the Phytanium Z, or the All Out Pummeling in this case. Because, yeah, I kind of wanted to just send this Kyrum, um, Kyrum out of the way just as soon as possible. Because, yeah. And not to mention, it kind of makes Scizor look a little bit more badass, taking it out with a Z move. So, yeah. He does not go for, um, um, he does not go for the Substitute, thankfully. And instead, he actually goes for Roost, which, combined with Substitute, that's actually kind of a nasty set, in all honesty. And I'm also in the, under the impression that this was maybe a defensive or bulky kind of Kyrum, because, honestly, it even survived this freaking all-out pummeling from Scizor. But then again, Scizor is bulky as well, so... Again, that probably has a lot to do with why it's not killing anything. It didn't KO the the freaking Mega Altaria and it didn't even KO the Skirum, despite using the Z move. So it's it's kind of crazy what the Scizor does. This Scizor never ceases to um, surprise me, in, in all honesty. But um, yeah. So either way, I, d I am able to still take out the Kyurem with a Bullet Punch. So this allows me to basically win the game. So that's going to be the whole game. And thank you all for watching. Good game too. Um, Lugia, um, yeah, and thank you once again for watching, and hope to catch you guys in the next battle, but for now, just take it easy.